Hey guys, welcome to your general reading um, for Aries. What is your shadow work for your January 2023? Um, so um, you can apply this to any of your placements because this reading could be about anything. So we're going to take a look at what your shadow side, what your shadow work is. Um, for those of you guys that don't know what that is, basically it's getting in touch with uh, a part of ourselves that we repress. This is our dark side. We all have it. A part of our spiritual growth and personal growth is getting in touch with that, working with that. Um, so uh, we're going to take a look and see what that is to you guys. And then we'll finish off the read to see how you can overcome it, transcend it, work with it, uh, apply this to your own needs situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aries people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Also a quick note that this reading is not really meant to be cross-watched, twisted, flipped, or reversed. This reading is more so for the Aries people that are currently in the path of healing, personal growth, and spiritual growth. But if you want to do that, you can feel free to do that. Okay? So uh, we're going to pull some oracle messages from the Shadow Work uh, Oracle deck, and then we'll pull Tarot. Okay? So tell me about Aries here. Tell me about Aries and their Shadow Work and their Shadow Side. What is Aries' shadow work shadow side for January 2023 for Aries? We have vengeful. Find a better way to heal your anger. This negative emotion comes back full circle here. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have envy. Remind yourself that no one has it all. It's okay to celebrate other successes. You are truly good enough. So, you know, I just feel like, you know, it could be a situation that, you know, you could be really angry because your life didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to. And, you know, and I feel like when people in and around you do have experienced great success, you might be, you know, envious of them. Okay. Now keep in mind, like I said, like this is, this reading is not really meant to be cross watched, twisted, flipped or reversed, but I mean, you could pl apply this to someone that you know. Okay. What else do we have here for Aries when it comes to their shadow work and their shadow side? Let's see. We have a page of swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So there is, you know, there's a there is kind of like a gossipy energy here, okay? You know, sort of like, you know, there could be energy of talking poorly about someone. You know, I just feel like with the Page of Swords and the Five of Pentacles here, I, we have someone here that's incredibly insecure here. And that's coming from, from a place of lack. And I feel like a lot of, it's, uh, you know, I feel like, you know, there could be situations where, you know, you know, seeing, you know, these great things happen to certain people. I feel like someone here kind of like latches onto that person to sort of like make themselves feel good. Okay. Let's see what else we have. We have the moon here, Cancer, Pisces, and the Page of Cups. I do feel like a lot. I do feel like there is some sort of self confident issues here. There is fear about emotionally opening up here or emotionally being vulnerable. It's not showing here, but I, I just feel like there's a sense of lack of opening up. There, there's some. There's a bit of toughness here too. There's a bit of toughness here too. Uh, you know, someone here could have grown up very poor or something like that, or just didn't have a lot. You know, just struggled. Family struggled with money. You could have struggled with money here. We have the Star card and the Ten of Cups. You know, I feel like, you know, Aries, if you're in the process of working through this, you know, I do feel like you're going to experience a lot of, like, fulfillment and happiness and healing, uh, optimism here, okay? I just feel like you just have to get over or move past this, like, really dark period here. Um, let's see. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Why is the Page of Swords here? Page of Swords and the Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles here, and the Devil. There's definitely some sort of, you know, vengeful energy here, an envious energy here. We have the Devil, Capricorn energy. This is an energy that you, this dark energy is an energy that you've been in for quite some time. And I do see you working past it, Aries, okay? Tell me about the moon here. 
We have the Four of Pentacles. Tell me about the Page of Cups here and the Page of Pentacles. Lots of pages here. Sometimes when I see a lot of pages, this is an indication that someone here has gone through some sort of abuse here. Okay. Uh, there's a sense of holding in all your fears. Okay. Maybe bearing it. Okay. Not showing your true authentic self here. Definitely a chameleon like energy here. Sort of like almost wearing a mask. But like I said, this could be someone that you know that's going through this. It's like Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups and the Chariot here. I do feel like you're going to realize that you don't want to live like this anymore. And I feel like you're going to put some, I feel like you're going to gain the will willpower to really leave all this, um, to leave all this behind, okay? So uh, how can Aries overcome, work with, and transcend their shadow side, shadow work here for uh, January 2023? I do feel like I do feel like there's a sense of anger here too. Yeah, I do feel like there's a sense of anger. Just angry not things not turning out the way that you wanted it to, or things are not getting better here. We have the Hierophant. It's definitely gonna get better with the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles. You know, one of the things I'm getting here with the Hierophant, this is, you know, an energy of really tapping into your higher power here. You know, sometimes the Hierophant is a representation of like, you know, a teacher, you know, a therapist or something like that, a spiritual advisor. So one of the things that you can do, that's if you're ready for it, is to seek out help here, okay? We have the Hangman here and the Empress, Libra Taurus energy. You know, I feel like, you know, moving forward, I feel like there's going to be a lot of growth and expansion here for you. You know, I feel like, you know, one of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, some of you guys might have a strained relationship with the parent here. And this is all, you know, I feel like one of the things that's important is to reconnect with this person. Yeah. Reconnect with this person because I feel like this is this is a part of your healing here. Okay. You know, Eight of Pentacles and a Page of Wands really working on yourself here. Yeah, working on your self-confidence here. Working on also the anger issues here too. I feel like someone here is really angry. Angry at somebody, angry at different people here. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, the Hierophant. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups here. There is a bit, there is an opportunity here for you to, there's an opportunity for you to take, yeah, uh, for you to sort of like change the tra tra trajectory that you're on, change the path that you're on right now. Um, we have the Knight of Swords and the Hangman. We have the Empress here and the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. So what we have here is I feel like there's the energy of you sort of like seeking the truth or seeking your truth or seeking answers from somebody here. Okay. And, you know, I feel like you know, there's an energy of you coming into sort of like a warrior mode like energy and really standing up and fighting for yourself here. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles here. Finding that confidence. Yeah, the High Priestess Eight of Pentacles, the Page of Wands here, and the Ten of Wands. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like you are going to be tapping into your higher self and healing all the burdens and pain that you've been carrying around here with you, Aries. Yeah, I just feel like you, you're you're sort of like coming in. Com, I feel like you're coming into your power, okay, or that you're stepping into your power. I mean, you're going from these pages to like a queen and an empress here, okay. So uh, Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.